Hi, I'm Tom Sapel, author of the book, Can You Sing a High C Without Straining? I'm also author of the book, Never Get Another Cold. I've done a lot of research on cold and flu prevention for singers, and in this book, you'll see why eating pork is not a good idea if you sing, because pork is a host to the trichinosis parasite, which can cause flu-like symptoms, so we want to avoid that if you, uh, if you sing. But pork is also a host to some other potentially life-threatening parasites. In this video, I want to share with you a testimonial from one of my students, Monica Hermosa, who recently nearly died and did have to undergo brain surgery as a result from a parasite she contracted from pork. Well, um, what happened is, is um, I didn't know what happened, really. The only thing that I know is, is I started with this terrible headache that it lasted it about seven days. Um, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. It took me twice to go to the hospital. And um, finally what they find out is, is I, my brain was swelling and, and what they call it, it was hydrocephalus, but they didn't know what it was causing the hydrocephalus. So um, when they did an MRI, they find out that what I had it was something called sister sarcosis which I never heard this before. And apparently sister sarcosis is the tapeworm found in the pork meat. And um, you know, the pork is the animal that is the host for this parasite. So, um, you know, they did a brain surgery. They, they cut open right here and they put something that they call the shunt. It's called the Hawkins valve. And this one goes down here through my neck and they did um, a surgery here on my stomach to drain all the fluid from my brain into my peritone. Um, the, the sad thing is, is that, you know, I didn't know I had had this for years. Apparently what happened is, is um, you can get this by eating the pork meat or by eating vegetable that has had been washed with contaminated water that has pork feces because the pork is the host of this parasite. And it can really live in your body up to um, 15 to 20 years. It goes undetected in your body. And the reason the body finds out is dead is when they start dying. The thing is, is, is with the sister sarcosis, um, when they go in your body, they stay in the form of an egg. So that's what they call a cyst because it's a sister sarcosis. So it can go in your brain or your eyes, your muscles or your liver or your stomach. When it goes into the stomach, apparently in the stomach it develops as a worm. But it, when it goes to your brain or your eyes or your liver, it stays in the cyst uh, form because it cannot develop as a worm. So it stays on that stage for years. It can live in somebody's uh, body for years without being not detected by your own immune How system. How many years? Uh, what the doctors that had seen me right now say it takes about 15 to 20 years to be in your body and, and could be longer, depends on the person in cell. So what happens is when, they're, when they die, when these parasites die, then the body immune system detects what's going on. So they try to get rid of this parasite. So when they try to get rid of the parasite, it causes inflammation. In my case was I had it on my brain. So the inflammation that created was it, it tried to get rid of this parasite. So, you know, the drainage of my fluid on my brain, every human being produces this fluid that the brain has to drain every day. So apparently the parasites had plugged these pipes and they had calcified. So my brain, that's, uh, the, the flu in my brain was not draining, so I, I started retaining fluid. And that's what they, it caused, what they call hydrocephalus. So my brain was so swelled that I, I, I was, what the doctors tell me today is that I'm very fortunate to be alive, to be honest. I mean, I, I was at, at the hospital connected to an IV and the doctor is telling me I have to do brain surgery to you right away because you can go into a coma any minute. And he's telling me all these things about you got this parasite in your brain and I'm like in shock because I say, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened to me. You know, I see this on TV and you hear about all these weird cases in Africa, or South America, or Asia, of these weird parasites I'm going into people, but you never think it will happen to you. And I guess it happened to me. And what, you know, what I don't know is, is how long I had had it. And, you know, I've been living in this, in this country for 25 years. 
but I had gone back home, which is Colombia, South America. And you know, in the last past 25 years, I've been visiting there. And I also had traveled to Mexico and Brazil. And I also been in Asia. So I wasn't sure where I got it until, um, you know, there, the doctors tell me it's more likely that I got it in South America because South America has a very high index of sister sarcosis because people tend to uh, eat more pork in those countries. Um, Unfortunately, I used to like to eat pork until this happened to me. And after this happened, neither my family, neither my parents, my sisters, or my husband and I would just opt for not having pork in our diet. Um, and you know, it, it's really sad to know that, you know, uh, something like this can happen not only to me, but to anybody. I mean, uh, like my family, you know, they could have it and they don't know it, you know? And in order, it's very difficult to to discover this parasite. So you will have to have an MRI done on your entire body to try to find for it, you know, because there's no test that they can do to figure it out, you know? And, and the sad thing is, is you know, like right now, um, I shouldn't say it's a sad thing, but I guess it's, you know, it's still sinking into me. I have to live with this tube in my brain for the rest of my life. Um, right now, the doctors tell me that I'm not out of the woods yet. Um, they, they keep me in this medication treatment for 30 days. They only give it to you for 30 days because of the toxicity of the medication that they give you. And they give you two kinds of drugs, which is called uh, Pranswaquel and um, Albenza. Um, they give me one other uh, drug that is called Kepra because when the parasite is dying, it cannot give you seizures. But I was very fortunate I didn't have seizures because that's one, that's one of the effects that this parasite causes when they start dying. So, you know, um, it's been three months, actually next week will be three months that this event took place. And, you know, I'm just trying to readjust. I haven't been able to go back to work yet because due to the swelling on my brain, I had um, double vision under my right eye. When I look to the right, I'm seeing double right now. Um, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, like my friends, uh, everybody that I know and know me, they're like completely in shock of what happened to me because I, I consider myself a very healthy person. I watch what I eat. I work out six days a week. I go to the gym. I, I try to eat my right proteins and my right carbs and fat. And, you know, unfortunately it happened that, you know, pork was in my diet too. Um, whether I got it by eating the contaminated pork meat, um, don't know. It could have been either eating the contaminated pork meat or eating the raw vegetable that were washed with contaminated water that has pork feces. Mm -hmm. So either those two could take place. But definitely the pork is the host of this parasite. Um, when it goes in your body, you become the host of it as well. So like for people who have it on the stomach, you know, they can, you know, contaminate other people if they happen to be, you know, uh, uh, for whatever reason, you go to a tropical farm or something and you go to the bathroom upside and that water gets irrigated somewhere where you went and, and took a pee or something like that. It's, it's very well known. So that's what happened in South American countries. And, um, you know, for those people who are up there and especially for those people who eat pork, they should think twice what they put in their mouth because, you know, it's true that we are what we eat, you know. And um, I know, ah, another thing that the doctor told me, which was interesting, you know, I had been seen by um, one tropical disease doctor and three different neurosurgeons. Um, one of the neurosurgeons at UCLA told me that the, you also have to be very careful when you eat cilantro. And I say, how common is it? Because cilantro grows on wetlands, kind of like the rice. But, um, you know, if the cilantro happened to be washed, uh, or just not washed, but, you know, if that wetland gets contaminated with pork feces or human feces that has the parasite and don't know that they have it, then it's gonna go into the cilantro. And what happens is, is you go on the border and you had your taquitos and you put your cilantro. This is what he's telling me, you know. You put your cilantro and then you eat your, your taquitos and you don't got no freaking clue what you're eating. 